Hello, my name is Tatloon Penry. I'm a solitary pagan witch. I'm an author and the founder of the Wolf and Howl Press. Today's little chat is about how we concoct a spell. How do we put it together? And um, I'm going to show you now. I'm trying to light this candle. There we go. Um, what am I trying to do here? Well, I'm trying to show you how I put together a, the beginning of a spell or ritual. A lot of us like to have... Um, a candle to focus on it's nice it adds light it adds all sorts of things it carries messages skywards so that's that's a nice thought anyway um this little verse and it's only four lines i think is it four or three no four um this little verse i originally wrote for a book which is still in production um magic into the flame which is about candles flames all sorts of magics that you do with those kind of things and rituals um so let's have a little look at how I began it. So I wrote this little thing, um, oh, a couple of years ago. I vow by this, the shining blaze that lights the nights and, and then I couldn't think of anything, so I just put a dash and then I wrote days that lights the nights and blank the days. Right. And I couldn't think what to write and it took me a while of sitting down and trying to get my head around it. So then the next time... I had a go at it. I wrote, Lady of Fire, by this shining blaze that lights the night and lifts the days. Um, now that changed the focus because the original one was, I vow by this. And the second one became Lady of Fire, by this shining blaze. And of course, that means that we've shifted focus from ourselves, what we are doing, I vow, to Lady of Fire. And we are actually addressing the deity within fire, if you happen to believe that, or the power within the fire or whatever. Um, you're addressing that deity or entity directly. And then I went on, that lights the nights and lifts the days. So obviously I'd managed to fill in that gap for the days and I had lifts. And I thought that was pretty good because, after all, you might light the night with a candle, but you don't light the day. Uh, because the day is already light, so you need to do something different. And I think to lift it while well, you're um, adding to the light that's already present in daylight. So that was how we got to that. And then eventually I got to Lady of Fire, who rules the shining blaze that lights the nights and lifts the days. Shine on my small offering light and make it holy, make it bright. So now we have a specific purpose. We're asking the deity or power that resides resides within the flame to um, look upon our light and make it holy, make it bright. In other words, we are asking them to sanctify what we're doing. That's a very nice way to start a spell or a ritual. You don't have to. You don't have to at all. But there are times when we want to add a little more. And the nature of it shows that this really has to be done fairly near the beginning of what we're doing. There's, there's no point asking the deity in the flame to make it holy, make it bright at the end of whatever we've been doing. No point. The other thing is that I have put in shine on my small offering light. So we are offering the flame to the deity. And that's quite a nice concept as well. We've have brought something to the ritual or spell, our offering. An offer is a, a very old word. Um, I think it's originally from the Proto-Indo-European and it meant a sacrifice. And so, although we nowadays think of sacrifices, especially in magic and ritual, uh, as being, you know, horrible, bloody things. No, they don't have to be at all. And they weren't always, I don't believe. So there we have that. Now, the other differences in the way that this spell progressed are um, that the first line, once we've got Lady of Fire in there, the first line has become much longer. It's ten syllables. And I do often count syllables when I'm writing things. Um, and if you're not sure what that means, it means the number of sounds in a word. So a word like um, ball has one syllable. A word like ballroom has two, two sounds, ball and room. Um, some words have a great number of syllables, like vegetable, you know, um, things like that. You, you have to literally count them and count them on your fingers if you have to. It does help you get a structure to whatever you're writing. I do recommend it. But what happened here was that all the other lines um, 
are eight syllables and that first line became lady of fire who rules the shining blaze it became 10 syllables now if you find that is a bit uncomfortable or you want to change the focus of your spell you can go back to the original line i vow by this the shining blaze and then you have your eight syllables try it count them out on your fingers i do oh never mind using my fingers to count things um so the reason I've done it like this and fixed the focus on the flame is I thought maybe we could do this together. We could actually sit here quietly and say, Lady of Fire, who rules the shining blaze that lifts the lights, lifts the night... Oh, crumbs, get that right again, shall I? Lady of Fire, who rules the shining blaze that lights the nights and lifts the days, shine on my small offering light and make it holy, make it bright. And there we have it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you experiment yourself. And I hope it's helped you see how you can begin to build up these spells and rituals. They don't all have to rhyme. It's nice sometimes if they do. But try and get your rhythm there. Try and get the feel of it. Because a lot of old spells and rituals and even modern ones, people use drums and chanting. And it's very hard to do if you don't get the rhythm right. So make it easy on yourself. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.